What's up YouTube? This is Dennis Panyuta for tutorials.eu. In this video, you are going to learn about objects in Kotlin. And you're going to see what objects are, how classes work, and we're going to set up our first own classes. And this is really important because Kotlin is an object-oriented programming language, and therefore you need to understand what objects are and how classes work in order to create objects off of those classes that you are going to build. And before we get started, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And now let's get to the content. We've seen classes before. For example, our main activity class is one of those classes. And a class is, so to say, a blueprint of an object. So let's have a look at a specific example. So let's say, I have this very beautiful car here and this car is gonna be our class and this car has certain properties. So props and those properties would be, for example, it's maximum speed. Then it could be the amount of tires it has. So max speed, tires, then the amount of windows maybe even, or doors. So there are cars with two doors, there are cars with three doors and so forth. So doors would be another property. And then this car has a bunch of skills. For example, it can drive. So. I'm just going to call this one skills and they will be drive. Then what can the car else do? Well, it can break, hopefully, because otherwise <laughs> we might be screwed. So it drives, it breaks, it has a bunch of other skills or capabilities. In a class, these properties could be variables and those skills could be methods. So these are things that we have seen already. Now the only thing we need to do is we need to create our own class. So now, as I said, a class is a blueprint. So when I create a class, I create a blueprint for car objects. So now I can go ahead and create a car with a max speed of let's say 200 miles per hour. I can say this car is going to have four tires and it's going to have two doors because it doesn't need any more. And it's going to have the skill of driving. And of course, it's also going to have the skill of braking, but it's going to also have a turbo boost mode. Then it's going to have the steering capability and so forth. All right. And now, of course, this will be my object here. So this will be another car that I just created, this super fast turbo car that I've just created. And as I said, it just has this one big door here. Doesn't need more, right? Or one door on one side and one door on the other side. Now, the trick question here is, what is the front of this car? Is it here or is it there? Well, it doesn't really matter, I'm just joking. So that's one object, but now I can go ahead and create a bunch of these objects. So now I can go ahead and create a bunch of cars and they all look a little different and they all have different colors. So another property could be the color, for example, that's a good one. Wheel size could be another one and so forth. So you can see you can have all of these different properties. And now this is the difference between classes and objects, a class is just a blueprint where we define all of these values, such as properties and skills. And then the objects are the individual cars that are produced, for example. And this can be used for pretty much anything, right? You could say a human. So what are the properties of humans? Well, we have a certain age and that age changes. Then we have a name. We have eye colors, hair colors, and so forth. So all of these things would be our properties. And then we have skills such as breathe or sleep or walk, jump. All of these things would be our skills. And those skills would be our methods that we would create. So 
This is just a quick introduction to classes and we're going to see how we can use classes, how we can build our own classes, give them those properties and those skills or methods and how we can create objects of those. All right, so I'd say let's dive right into it because it's a lot more fun in practice. So see you there.